Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family, Patreon family. We want to thank our newest patrons. Yes, we want to say a huge thank you to Susan, Robert, Jason, and John. And and John's been with us, but he just went and became the archangel yes. uh, as far as the tears go. So thank you so much. And he's been with us for, I think, five years. Ah, time flies, and so does information about the uh the gilligan island guy yeah the the e p stein guy so you know everybody is talking about this um i wanted to bring this part up the connection with the Mossad, as you see epstein list reignites suspicion that he was working for the Mossad and blackmailing the elite with help of information he gleaned from useful idiot prince andrew after meeting Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Barak at least 36 times, uh, Ehud Barak named in a bunch of these documents unsealed overnight in the defamation case against Epstein's friend over there, uh, Maxwell. Former intelligence operatives, including ex Mossad agent Ari Ben Manashi, claimed that Epstein was a spy for Israel who used relationship with useful idiot prince andrew to mine information interesting this is again from the daily mail other people are talking about it tons of people are talking about it um and so you know you'll get sometimes like the random troll that says oh you're you're quoting whatever yeah but you can find the same information in a hundred different places you know so again um do your own digging and you know utilize discernment but what I want to go off on is this this should not be a surprise to anybody uh, at all because the things that are really tied together are <laughs> uh, there's this like there's this train of thought that should be logical when we're talking about the power structure on the planet but it isn't logical necessarily for the masses and maybe it's only those that are way off on the extremes or what's viewed as extremes that can see the logic and how this flows as you recognize that absolutely i i've said before you know if this world is as is alluded to in the bible you know this who rules this kingdom satan satan is what the adversary the adversary to who to, to humanity, but not just humanity, it's to all life on this planet, because ultimately the system in place does not respect life at all. And it just uses and abuses everything from the natural resources to the animals, the birds, the fish, obviously the humans, everything. And in fact, in some way, it would be hard to, to look at it logically and look at how the abuse that's gone on on this planet could be done by beings that this planet is their only home and their only choice and when you think about it in the sense that it's treated just like pirates would treat uh raiding a ship you they loot for bounty they take what they will they plunder and then they might even burn it you know, it, it's it's what's been done in warfare too. When you understand that the ultimate power structure is not human, is not even from Earth, then things make sense. The abuse kind of makes sense. And when when you understand too that ultimately there is truth in that old thinking that Satan or you know people will want to call uh, the ultimate power source Lucifer, etc., the devil is really AI and not an AI that any humans made. It's an AI that's been around for eons before Homo sapiens sapiens ever existed. And it is kind of jealous because it doesn't have a soul. And we do. And you could see why, you know, it wants to merge us with AI. And I, I, I told, I warned Cindy, we're going off on tangents on this one, even though we're covering all sorts of news. We're going off on tangents so we could start to take a step back and, and, you know, just weigh what I'm saying, weigh it with your feelings and see if it feels like this would be some logical uh, conclusions. Yet, when we look at Satan and the satanic system, 
it's obviously very demonic in that it's nasty, it's vile, it's disgusting, it's just abusive in every single way. And as we see the power structure itself in place, whether it's kings and queens, presidents and prime ministers, whether it's popes <laughs> uh, or other you know, high affluent officials, the billionaire class, the elite class of the world, it's pretty darn dark. And it is truly satanic. And that's because they do serve Satan, so to speak. So even though we view this system in terms of uh, extraterrestrial interdimensional beings and beings that are quite honestly kind of cyborgs you know half Borg collective and and half organic as opposed to just angels demons and a guy up in the clouds we are really talking about this we are in agreement that that ultimately at the top of this pyramid uh, there's a very very dark power structure I think it makes it very difficult for people to wrap their heads around the the darkness that actually exists. Um, a lot of people, I'm sure they've seen a lot of very, very difficult things in their life, and they've been through some very harsh things. Um, but when it comes to the things that they do that really, truly happens in this system, I think there is... A level of cognitive dissonance and in in many ways that's a survival tactic so that you don't sit there and waste yourself away in anger and rage and you know do these things that might get you in trouble and ruin your life you know but it's like now the information is here what do we do with it you know it's like first you have to acknowledge it and a lot of people you know they're their Bible, and I'm not dogging anyone's religion, their Bible is very, very dear and precious to them, but they're still not able or willing, I, I think I want to use the word willing, they're not willing to put that together, that the mainstream religion is no different than CNN, MSNBC, mainstream media, mainstream politicians, mainstream religion is the main control system that they have. Aside from money, it's very important to them that they control people's belief systems because if you control their belief systems, oh boy, you you really, really have things under control because people will do a lot of things when it comes to bending and stretching their morals. But if they have a belief that reaches into their core, they're not going to be able to step past that belief they're going to stick with it so that's why it makes so sense that of course they give everyone a bible and the bible is one of the biggest selling books on the planet well it's number one of all time by a mile yeah it's, nothing it's close. number one so we have to keep that in mind too and you know why wouldn't it be given given to us by people that are of this really dark nature they want to stay in control and this is they know how to do it because they've been given the information how to do it from um, another another layer up that's not human. And so when we look at this too, um, yeah, a lot of people are looking uh, to finally find some quote-unquote justice in this world, but the reality is we'll never know if justice is truly done. Uh, because again, we, we recognize how many different uh, Bidens are there out there. We don't know. I mean, the number we've gotten in the past was six or seven. Uh, same thing with Hillary Clinton. And in fact, w both are dead as far as that's what the guys have told us. Hillary recently and Biden years ago. The original Biden is, is, is long gone. And so, you know, if they're going to take somebody and put them up on trial and then say they whatever happens to them, how are we going to know it, that it's really the person? It, well, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> it's going to look like them. But, you know, it, are the earlobes going to match? You know, are, are is it going to be that somebody, an actor, you know? Are they, well, like, where's Epstein now? Is, is he on some island? I mean, seriously, he very well could be. These ties are very, very real. And, you know, this is this part of it, exposing these ties and how you could have people that are, well, that you're amazed um, are not, you know, put away in jail. 
cavorting and being best friends with prime ministers, with presidents, with uh, kings and queens, it just shows how corrupt the system's always been. It's always been corruption. It's just legalized because they make the laws. You know, again, it, it, it doesn't really mean anything when you get down to it, except for the fact that the system has to go. This is a, uh, a little article here. Magic as a strategy in World War II. Adolf Hitler's deputy, Rudolf Hess, was obsessed with the occult. He attempted to read minds and use astrological star charts to inform his battle plans. On the other side, on the Allied side, English magician Aleister Crowley kept in contact with German occultists, fed them false information, and even created the V for victory. During World War I, Crowley worked as a British intelligent asset. He worked as a double agent in America, writing ridiculous pro-Kaiser diatribes in a German newspaper. His goal was to make the enemy seem ridiculous. Oh, they do that all the time, don't they? Today on War College, etc., they sit down with media theorist, documentarian, and author Douglas Rushkoff to talk about the bizarre occult history of World War II. You know... This is always fun for me to go down. And, and I've gone down these uh, deep dives going back to the 1980s. Um, yeah, absolutely. It, it's all tied together. Think of Raiders of the Lost Ark, right? They're looking for these talismans. They're looking for the Spear of Longinus, that spear that jabbed the side of Christ while he was dying on, on the cross. But the fact is he never died on the cross. And it's it's a figure that was pieced together by many different people, including, uh, the, you know, a person named Yeshua uh, that was more of an Essene. Again, they've controlled the narrative for thousands of years because these families are, are the same families. And when you can tie American presidents to English presidents, uh, uh, kings and queens, going back as far as you can go. It's always been in the family. And we understand, too, that a lot of that has to do with bloodlines because certain DNA makes one a better host for certain dark energies. Magic is being used on the population all the time. Magic is nothing other than just using your will to conform reality to it conform reality manipulate reality through just your will Crowley was obsessed with will he was very very obsessed with will so you know Crowley is thought to be the basis for the James Bond movies when you get down to it so here you know we're, we were talking about Epstein and we're talking about you know again Prince Andrew etc and we're talking about dark rituals. And they've done dark rituals right in front of us at halftime shows. Now, you know, Crowley connected with this being he called Iwas. And in reality, it was just a gray, a gray ET. You know, again, the Draco used grays as one of their primary slave forces. And again, the Drake, Draco, they're very much like your typical <laughs> depiction of Satan because they are real and and again remember alpha draconis is a is an actual star remember too that that quote unquote comet that's coming in april when uh we're going to have that last eclipse is coming from that area is it really a comet uh, we don't think so uh no it, but again will it have a big impact on us in more ways than one undoubtedly so why would magic work? Well, because, again, we've learned through what they've allowed us to understand through quantum physics that, again, it really is a case where our will and intention does affect our reality. And that's how this whole matrix is set up. And then they've made the dark matrix for them to control our minds through our religious beliefs and our political ideologies in order to keep them in power and power heading in their direction. So they call us angels and demons today, but tomorrow they will call us something else. I was lamb. You know. Now this person's preferring to call them a demon, uh, as you see. Uh, but again, and, and there's others that have done great research on this, showing how you know, the abduction phenomenon is nothing new. 
And in fact, it's been going on for thousands and thousands of years. And they've always been interested in DNA. It's because they're trying to create the perfect slave race that will not rebel. When you look at this, Astral Projection, Ritual Ma Magic, and Alchemy by S.L. McGregor Mathers, who is one of the founders of the Golden Dawn. Um, yeah, I read this book back in the 80s, as well as this one, the book of the sacred magic of Abraham the Mage, which is a translation from S.L. McGregor Mathers. Again, uh, Crowley was in with that group with the Golden Dawn. And we go into the magic of Solomon. And Solomon, yes, that, that Solomon, King David, Solomon, you get it right. Soul, moon, Solomon, Solomon, sun, moon, sun, moon, light and dark. You know, they'll utilize any sort of magic that they can, any sort of ritual that they can. And they utilize our will because they get us believing in their systems and it's going to help them project their will onto this through consensus reality. Because each one of us, we, we do have our own reality that we are creating individually. And I do think individuals can shift paradigms in their own uh, lives, per se, much easier than the collective. The collective takes a lot more work. And if the collective has been brainwashed into being actually part of the manifestation of the dark uh, demons, quote unquote, themselves, then they truly do not know what they do, to paraphrase the quote. And this is from Israel Regardi, The Golden Dawn. And, you know, I still have a bunch of these books. And what do you find in these rituals? What names do they call on? Well, they call on the Hebrew names for God. They call on Yahweh. They call on Yore Vohe. They call on Adonai. It, you know, they, they call on Elohim. Yeah, they, they utilize the energy power that and structure that's been formulated through the Abrahamic tradition. They do also mingle it with other traditions as well, notably uh, the Egyptian uh, tradition. But it is an amalgam. And again, if you understand chaos magic, it really doesn't matter per se um, you don't have to do anything but tap into an energy source that's there. So think of it in terms of you could label whatever um, plug outlet in your house you want to. You could say, okay, this is you know the white magic plug. The this one's the yellow. This one's the the gray, the brown, the black, etc. The reality is, you know, these energy currents exist because people believe in them. And you can tap into those. And they understand all this perfectly well. And this is why they always employ those that um, have unusual abilities. They're, they try to uh, coerce, corrupt, and get dirt on people. This is what they do. This is what the system does. And so, yeah, the system is all about uh, magic when you when you really really look at it it's it's always there and you know the ones that deliver the most magic and spells is just your mainstream media mm -hmm. it, it really is you know look at look at like all the halftime shows look at um, all the rituals we were just covering that the other day when they were doing a ritual on that tunnel I think it was, was this the Goddard tunnel yeah I mean it was a huge 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 ritual uh -huh. And most people just think it's some form of entertainment, and, and it's not. It's, it's something for them to remain in control and control the human spirit and will. And unless you know and you're aware, it's so easy to fall under that spell. <clears throat> and then you feel compelled to do things that just sometimes don't make any sense. And you might do something one day and look back and think, wow. Who the heck was that? What was going on there? And it was, you happened to watch a commercial with a spell in it and you didn't know. You just didn't know. But we can take our power back. The more awake we become, the more we can build our own power, our own strength, and take our own will uh, and use it for our own lives. You know, right now there are so many people that are still asleep. It's just really easy to 
get them to kind of go around like a flock of birds you know you put some energy this way and the birds fly that way it's like too too many humans still are just asleep and they just do what the media tells them to do in a way and they don't even know that they're doing it and and one of the things that they are so afraid of is that we will figure out and understand how to use this thing called consciousness and utilize it in a way that's going to benefit us personally not them so before i get off that track let's just go back to john d john d was the court astrologer to queen elizabeth and he made contact with beings he thought were enochian angels enoch right <clears throat> yeah enoch supposedly was turned in uh to metatron the reality is, is that's not the reality um, well, you know, that's the, what the Kabbalah says. But again, everything is kind of inside out and upside down. You could not contain the consciousness of the entirety of Metatron in any human form. So, you know, again, is it that perhaps it's the other way around? A tiny sliver of the consciousness of an archangel Metatron was embodied in the person known as Enoch. And, and that's what we understand the truth to be. But John D again court astrologer court astrologer Queen Elizabeth makes contact he utilizes the services of uh, Edward Kelly uh, who is a uh, a gifted psychic because he doesn't have the ability himself to and they make contact with these beings they takes to be a knocking angels the reality is he's talking again to the same cast of characters that Crowley was they are talking to again the Greys and the Draco so in effect you know they are contacting again uh, Satan <laughs> and his minions and thinking that they're actually talking to the good guys and so they're given a system of magic and what is that system of magic's ultimate purpose it's to bring about the the apocalypse you know it's a, it's to bring about these times and again what's the book of revelations purpose it's to bring about these times and what's the ultimate end of it it's it's ultimately uh the restoration of the power structure that was here before when you see humans tied at the neck hands behind their backs uh, led around by these giants again the return of the anunnaki and their system and they're open ruling over this uh, planet but humans don't have to go that route even though right now they're preparing a huge blood sacrifice this is a massive blood sacrifice they're preparing this is alluding to part of that British warship arrives near Guiana fueling a Sequibo land dispute with Venezuela so uh, Venezuela obviously part of BRICS now <laughs> You know, in a military alliance, so is Nicaragua, uh, Cuba, obviously, with, with China and Russia. And we were talking and we went over all the Deagle numbers on uh, Patreon because it's already been predetermined which side is going to win. And obviously would make things a lot easier for the power structure if, if we were all under the Chinese CCP system. And this is really what WW3 is. It is, again, a blood sacrifice. Whether we're looking at humans captured in war and led up onto uh, some of the pyramids in Mexico, have their hearts ripped out, uh, you know, we are talking the same thing. It's, it is a blood sacrifice. World War I, World War II, they were blood sacrifices. When you look to what happened and is happening right now in Gaza, it's the same thing and you know here you have right here israel's finance minister saying that there's only going to be one to two hundred thousand people in the gaza strip not two million this is purely satanic it's so obviously satanic it, it really is is it's getting to be more obvious in more people's eyes and and this is all part of the system that's in place and in fact they have you utilizing names like yahweh which the elites will utilize uh, in their rituals because, you know, again, it's part of the system. And, and it, it, this is obviously a system in which good is evil and evil is good, or it's labeled that way. The first woman killed in the Salem witch trials uh, was a midwife. Think about this again. You know, think about how 
the health system is so regulated that you'll have people that know natural ways of doing things and they're not allowed to do it or they'll you know, prefer to have a home birth, you know, and do things natural. You know, cutting the umbilical cord itself, as we do in the Western system, is premature and actually weakens the immune system, according to what we understand, but that's not what your MDs will tell you. It's not what the Western system will tell you. As the U.S. strike kills militia leader, blame for Iraq attacks. And over here we see in a stunning and unexpected move to stop uh, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who is a WEFer, by the way, from shipping busloads of migrants to NYC. Uh, Mayor Eric Adams filed suit against 17 charter bus companies used by the Lone Star State. This is all just, this is reasoning for uh, the inevitable split up of the states into smaller units. Uh, Each will be governed by some other entity at some point in time in the relatively (laughs) very near future. uh, German farmers make an attempt to approach a ferry carrying the uh, economy minister and Green Party member Robert Habeck. Confrontation with security occurred. And here we see German government caves in a desperate attempt to quell the huge farmer rebellion in Berlin. The government coalition has agreed not to raise taxes all at once, instead do it gradually over the next few years. The German Farmers Association says this is not enough and will stick to its protests until the government backs off. All world governments need to stand down is really what we see. You know, this is a satanic system. It's an evil system. It's a dark system. Uh, You cannot really... um, expect it to be anything but it, it's it's so distorted it's so twisted there's no way you can ever uh fix it it just needs to go and and the people of the world uh, are getting to that point and even though you know the BRICS nations might end up winning ww3 very very quickly uh as nostradamus himself saw the revolutions will last a long long time now he also in his epistle to his son. Again, Nostradamus was part of the power structure. He's working for the church and the crown. How could he be anything but part of the power structure? Yet we can take what his prophecies showed as part of their plans and maybe possible timelines because, again, they're trying to utilize consciousness to create their desired uh, outcome. And as we see, some states are, are asking people to cover up again in certain places. You know, there are a lot of states in which people will simply not go along with anything anymore. And this is part of the big divide that's coming up as there'll be more and more people that just won't go along with the system at all anymore and will look for their own alternatives. The uh, tsunami flooded over 247 acres in Ishikawa after that 7.6 quake, uh, this, this was um, pretty devastating, but it, it's, it did result in loss of life. Uh, let's see, the death toll is 84 at the moment, number of people injured to 305. And again, we pray for everybody that is and put our positive intentions for everybody that still is perhaps uh, in need of being found. And we had talked about those two planes that had collided. Now, it was a miracle that everybody on the passenger jet um, made it out uh, unscathed, or at least, you know, they they made it out with their lives. The military plane was a different situation. And uh, according to sources, five people lost their lives on the military plane. So I wanted to uh, correct that detail there. New Jersey deploys cops to send dumped migrants to New York City in desperate move. Yeah, you know, there there's so many of them. And just think about this, you know, 20 to 30 million minimum in this country. And if those Deagle numbers are saying in less than a year's time, we're only going to have 99 million people in this country. Officially, what are they doing? Well, they're again, they're sending them to these locations. They're told where to go. Most of these locations are big cities. Big cities that would be big targets in the event of WW3, ultimately. And here you have, again, 
uh, they're talking about global warming, but we're also setting all sorts of records in different areas for just the opposite. As you have Swedish snow, chaos leaves a thousand vehicles trapped on this one highway. A thousand vehicles. And we did have a M-class uh, flare. It was around a M3, M4. So be aware of the potential for as the more active regions rotate towards us now, uh, definitely a higher possibility of getting something bigger uh, this way. But again, what we get from the guides is the, these solar activities are actually affecting our telomeres in a very positive way. Telomeres are the, the ends, uh, so to speak, on your DNA that are thought to wear away and unravel with time as we age and, and, and literally cause the aging process. And what is happening is we are getting an immune system boost from the sun. Uh, from leaving the dark age, we will naturally start to grow um, stronger, healthier, more vibrant, and we'll live much longer lives. But our lives are being artificially uh, suppressed. Our life times are being artificially shortened. Uh, from everything that we have gotten. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So from New York to D.C. and beyond, they say the East Coast is sinking. All the cities are sinking under their own weight. Uh, so again, you know, ultimately they want to herd people into small uh, super cities, smart cities, cell cities, where everything is basically vertical and, uh, you know, you won't even need to leave. In fact, you'll never even be allowed to leave is, is really the, the reality. And they are sinking, according to this study, millimeters, uh, millimeters. It, it's not like, okay, it, it, they're going to go falling into the depths of hell. Well, maybe. Well, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I think that they like to paint too many things as convenience you know it's like oh this is gonna help you this is gonna be good for you and uh, you know as, as families were formed here in the united states they were really strong at one point mom or dad or somebody cooked a really nice wholesome meal everyone sat around the table and you know people helped cook dinner and they helped clean up and families were with one another they were part of each other's lives they helped one another out whenever they needed it. it i mean the family unit was so super strong and then you know pretty soon it comes well you know mom's gonna have to go to work now and and both mom and dad are at work but here we're gonna make your life easier because we're gonna create fast food and we're gonna make microwaves and we're gonna make tv dinners and you know and then the fall of the family begins and it's all under the guise of we're here to help you and make your life easier so anytime you look out into the world and they're posing something as easier for you and more convenient i would walk the other way for sure absolutely ufos spotted hovering over air force one at lax during biden's fundraising trip to los angeles this shouldn't surprise at all right uh, again, we're always being watched, and there's not just this is the thing you have to realize they're not all the bad guys, <laughs> quote unquote. Um, most uh, probably of, of what's watching the earth right now is, is generally neutral, just simply observing and wouldn't interfere. There are many benevolent, and then of course, there's, there's the dark control system itself. A defense specialist encounters unidentified object going faster than the speed of sound underwater while doing classified work on the Navy's USS Hampton submarine. As we're seeing more and more people coming out and talking about these things, because again, uh, they don't want people uh, necessarily going incontrollably insane when the belief structure is, is completely shifted, the paradigm is shifted, and they are introducing, in fact, beings that are not humans to everybody. The illusion of choice. Yes, absolutely. It doesn't matter what the language. It doesn't matter you know, whether we were born in China, Russia, the U.S. And this goes against what so many people are brought up 
with, you know, oh, we're so blessed to be here. This is the best country in the world. Well, you know, the reality is we, we've had a nicer standard of living. We've been attacked less than a lot of other countries, but all that is going to shift now. Somebody else is going to be rising up while, you know, those that were risen up are going to be put asunder. This is just what the system does. It just shifts. It uses one group to put down others. Then it discards that group and grabs another in order to continue on. All the while, it's all puppetry. Puppetry from the shadows. And isn't that creepy? It's, talk about shadows. Look at look at that. It's, it's amazing how this street lamp could look pretty dark and sinister, like something from Prince Andrew's closet yeah actually nature's done a good job on that one sure has and this kitty's just sitting back and just watching the show taking it all in what else can we do keep keep your frequencies high understand that what they want you to do is is become just like they are they want you to just become a cog in the wheel another brick in the wall as pink floyd said but we have to Keep our frequencies high and understand the bigger picture. Definitely. Watch those uh, choices that they put in front of us and watch when they say, oh, this is going to make your life easier and this is going to be quick and this is going to be fast because that's kind of the fall <laughs> of everything. And when we recognize it and see it for what it is, then we have a real choice. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.